Hi, welcome to the Makerspace. My name is Taylor. I'll be walking you through everything today. Um, as you join us, first I'd like to introduce you to our front desk staff. Um, they're here to answer any of your initial kind of questions and help you navigate through the Makerspace. Um, extremely helpful people, always friendly, always here to uh, help your needs. So as we kind of walk through, you kind of see our open space working areas over here. Um, normally when there's not a pandemic, these are open for you to study and hang out and see what everybody else is making. Um, probably the coolest place to like find community and find similar people. So moving through here, this is kind of our crown jewel over here. This is our 3D printing area. Um, we have a bunch of different types of 3D printers to make a lot of different things. So on our uh, my left over here, you'll see these Ultimakers. So these are kind of the generic 3D printers you might have heard before. And we have a lot of them. And there's always cool things being made on here. So if we actually take a look at it, I think we have some cool things being made. It looks like in here we have a drone of sorts being made, so that's pretty cool stuff. And then over here we have actually a human skull that I think is going to encapsulate a brain over here. So always cool things going. And these are students making these too, so you always have a cool chance to kind of make something and kind of learn our technology. Over here we have some more of our kind of exact printers. Uh, these are a little bit higher resolution, um, and they have some really cool things printing on here as well. Another really fun thing is our wall of different materials. So if you just kind of want to see like what can you make, what can you make it out of, we always have these fun things to play around with. Elastic is my favorite, it's squishy. Alright, so if we keep moving. And don't be afraid, there's Makerspace staff that are always here to help you kind of learn the printers and figure out how to get the thing you want made. Uh, that's our job. So you have an idea or you have something for a class, we're here to help you make it. So over here we have a couple more fun tools. Uh, this is our embroidery area. So obviously up front we have a sewing machine. Uh, the coolest thing here is a CNC embroiderer. So you can kind of program it what to like embroider. Let's see if we have some example pieces. That doesn't look like we do. Um, but always cool things being made over here as well. We actually did embedded electronics. So people sewed like electronics and copper like into jackets and made electronics within their clothes. Pretty, pretty cool stuff going on here. Over here we have our thermoformer, uh, one of the most satisfying things to watch. Um, it's really good for making packaging and things that go over stuff. So to kind of show you what that means, so we have this kind of plastic was melted over this weird looking face. So a lot of cool things being made on this thermoformer as well. So we had a mask workshop, we had a chocolate mold workshop, always fun things happening over here. And then we also have all these lockers for students to check out as well. You might be making some big projects or you might have a lot of small projects. Um, these are free for you to check out and store your materials and different projects in. Really handy. Over here we have a CNC uh, vinyl cutter. This is where you can make stickers or maybe, you know, um, outlays for vinyl ironing onto shirts. A lot of cool things made on here as well. Basically anything you need to kind of like wrap a prototype something or make something cool, uh, we should have for you. Coming over here, this is one of our another crown jewels, this is in our laser cutter. So it's a 36 inch by 24 inch uh, laser cutter that can cut up to an inch of wood. But what a laser cutter does is it has a little like nozzle right there. It basically shoots out a laser and will kind of move around and engrave and cut things out uh, to kind of make a lot of different neat things. So the best example is over here. We have things with like words cut into them. These shapes are cut out. Uh, you can make bendy things. You can make things pretty big. Uh, you can even do like this kind of uh, jean denim material. This over here is our electronics area. If you've never dealt with electronics before, everything you need to do with the deal with electronics is here. We have soldering irons, we have oscilloscopes, we have power generators, we have things for making your own PCBs. Um, basically anything you need. And then moving over here a little bit, we have another small laser cutter that's actually pretty brand new. Um, same thing as before, uh, you can make a lot of neat things with these laser cutters. These are usually our most popular machines. So like I said before, we have a lot of different uh, tools for you to use in the electronics area. We actually have little mills over here, so if you want to make your own PCBs, um, which are basically circuit boards, you can actually use these machines to make your own circuit boards. Pretty neat stuff. We also have a wire bender over here and a couple other electronics machines over here as well. But moving in, we also have a nice little workshop. 
which you should always wear your safety goggles on. Um, and this is more where our kind of heavy duty tools are. So first thing right away is we have a miter saw for cutting kind of all your wood and other materials that you'd normally cut with a miter saw. But we also have a really powerful drop table saw um, for those kind of things as well. So any kind of like wood uh, materials, or sorry, wood uh, tools that you need for rapid prototyping, we have here. So we have our sander belts as well. And then a new thing that we just got in is we have our Milwaukee Tool Shrines. So we actually got a big donation. Like any hand tool you kind of need, uh, we have over here now. So we have these different drills, impact drivers, um, hammers, and these are just like, if you're working in this area, you don't have to check them out. You can just kind of go use them on the thing you need to and put them back. So it's very handy uh, when you just need the basic uh, tools to get something made. Then we have all our fan saws, of course, our drill presses. Um, I believe we have some pound presses over there, or ton presses over there. We have our jigsaws. Um, another really cool thing we have is this metal uh, water jet cutter. So you can actually, you know how that laser cutter kind of like cut flat things? This can now cut metal. So here's just a little peace sign somebody made. Um, but it's pretty powerful. I mean, that's probably a quarter inch of what looks like steel. So you can make some really like heavy, really tough parts using this machine. Moving back here is another big machine. Let me turn the light on for you guys. So we have this giant CNC router. So basically what that means is you program something to cut material. And when I've mentioned that before, it's only 2D. But with this, it's actually 3D. So you have an axis that can go like forward, back, and up and down. Um, and it's absolutely huge. Four, foot, four feet by eight feet. Um, people have made stools. Um, people have made chairs. A lot of actually kind of furniture comes out of this. Um, but you can make practically anything you'd want to on this. And it's really, really powerful. Um, really cool to use. A lot of cool tools at your disposal here. We also have another little small CNC router back here for any of your kind of smaller projects that you may need to like cut things out with. Moving along a little bit. So next I'm gonna bring you into what's called our tool crib. So what our tool crib is, is basically all our background stuff where we have a lot of cool things for you to check out. So if we kind of move along, um, anything you might need that we don't have out front, we have back here. So something very generic starting out with is we have like monitors and keyboards um, for any kind of programmable needs. We have all that textile stuff. We have kits for soldering. We have hot glue guns, knives, hammers, uh, scissors, tin snips, screwdrivers, anything you would need kind of hand tool wise or even just kind of make something um, we should have. And if we don't have it, we can usually get it for you. And that's not just for, you know, like things with your hands. We have all electronic stuff a lot of arts and crafts stuff and we even have a full section over here where if you want to buy things we have it so all these kind of raw materials um, up for you to buy we have these materials for laser cutting any single nut and bolts you'd ever want we have back here at a pretty cheap price and this whole thing is basically nuts and bolts and then kind of smaller things like you know resistors capacitors those kind of generic uh, electronics we have back here as well so walking you through a little bit more, we also have some things uh, that you can use without asking everybody back here. Uh, so we have our little calipers, rulers, tape measures, uh, Allen knife, or Allen keys, um, anything you need to kind of work on a small project without checking things out. Remember, if you're confused by things or if you don't know what to do, us Makerspace staff are always here to help you out and kind of always put you in a good direction. So make sure you are successful with your project. Or if you just have an idea, um, we can figure out how to help you make it. Um, over here is a fun thing. Uh, if you actually notice, did we remove the disclaimer? Ah, uh, there it is. So we have a little disclaimer for it. Um, but this is just like some fun things we have in the makerspace to do. It's not really like a rigid classroom type place. It's very flowing, um, very free, a lot of ideas coming back and forth, a lot of cool things being made. Um, so we like to have fun stuff here to kind of hang out and build a stronger community with. Normally when there's also not a pandemic, we have these study rooms open um, for people to come and just like check out. So if you and your friends need like five hours to kind of study and hunker down for an exam, um, these are fully closed off and very nice, have a good view, really nice sunlit. So a lot of cool um, opportunities and 
uh, things for you to use in this makerspace. And there's always just cool things kind of hanging out. Like this is an electric bike that I believe one of our staff is just kind of working on and fixing up. And we also have a whole full bike fixing station that's free for anybody to use too. So if your bike like has come breaking down in the middle of winter and you just don't want to take it to like a shop and pay like 50 bucks, you can just bring your bike in here, kind of fix it up. It looks like somebody's already doing that with their bike. So a lot of cool stuff. Let me yeah, let me just like walk through everything really quickly again. Um, but like I said, we have machine shops, we have tool checkouts, we have electronics cabinets. Um, such an awesome area to be in, and such a cool place for you to be able to utilize during your college career. Um, I see startups come through here. You see people just making like really cool things for their friends and family coming through here. And even just if you're going to be taking classes through the College of Engineering, um, you will go through this space and you will utilize it. So yeah, thank you for taking our tour of the makerspace with me.